We're already three weeks into what is looking like the most competitive year yet for the AWC, with only one remaining cup for the teams to qualify to the circuit. In this video, I will be covering some of the MVPs across the team so far and breaking down how they lead their teams to victory. Team Liquid had their best performance in week two, winning the entire cup. A big contributor to this was Mr. Warcraft himself, Trill. Rolling from race to world first and into the AWC, Trill was a trailblazer in pressure and precision on the Windwalker Monk, securing the kill on Aang in the final game of Cup 2. For his team, Tuna's in a full shape. I don't think he that can. might just be it. I don't think he can survive. See, just pushing in. Can he get the full fear? Tuna, what are you gonna do? Aang has nothing, and he will potentially fall. Touch of death comes in, and Trill and Team Liquid will be the Cup 2 champions in North America. Fast forward to Cup 3, and Cloud9 begins to return to their former glory. Cubsy stepped up big to fill the legendary shoes of Chanimal on his warlock. But Wealthy Man still remained the star, claiming kill after kill on his Frost Mage, pinning teams like Team Liquid to the pillar and getting Cloud9 all the way to the finals. As they're going back onto Wealthy Man on the side of Team Liquid, trying to get some pressure. The Trill rolls in, gets instantly rooted, gets instantly stunned, has to trade out Karma, might die through it, and he will get blasted. Kawhi also came to play in Cup 3. After their fourth place finish the previous week, Drake's assassination rogue was a tactical surgeon, eliminating anyone that stood on their path to victory. In the final game of Cup 3, Drake overpowered almost all of Cloud9's defense to secure the kill on Chun-Li. Too much here, Chun-Li now into the stun. Vendetta popped massive damage on a Chun-Li on match point. They no cut way. him down through everything. The ray of hope at the last second. It's a negative ray. It's still negative. I think they're taking him out here. He's gonna flesh cut that to it. Why crush him or one? The returning 2021 EU champions, my way, have been trying to find their footing in patch 9.2. And a key player getting them to the finals is Kasu. Kasu navigated many seemingly unrecoverable situations, and his team pulled off miracle after miracle, taking Kungana to Game 7 in the finals of Cup 3. Take some risks here if they want to go to Game 7. They're so far behind. Kasu gets dismantled. Can he take down Matt with the Death Chakrams? He takes them out! No way! He takes them out! They had nothing! Before we shout out our final MVP, an honorable mention has to go out to this game from the Golden Guardians. Peekaboo and WizK found themselves backed against the wall in a 2v3 situation and were able to turn it around with this cross kill. This composition, I mean, they still had a blessing of protection too. So the next stun on Drake, blessing of sanctuary. The next stun on Drake, Whoa, it's not blessing over. of protection. It's not over. Okay. Much marmalade okay. time. Peekaboo on the run. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All that 2v2 <laughs> practice paid off as they went on to win the match. That's it. No oh mana left. That's yeah. it. The Golden Guardians pull it off. 2v3. Look at Amsterdam. He thought it was over. Everybody thought it was over. A full link to that incredible game can be found in the description below. And finally, Kungana remain the kings of EU. Waz plays an important role in setting the team up with stun locks and calling targets. Kungana's ability to find the quickest line to victory is what enables them to win multiple cups. The question for EU is, who will rise to stop them? Like right now, they literally have to win right now. Tony and Relza know it. They're standing 40 yards away from the fight. They know it's over. If they get crowd controlled, they're going to root up Waz. They're trying to prevent Waz from getting to Relza. They stun Tony. This is actually good. Tony might not be CC'd. No, he's chastised. This is the 3-2-1 go. This is it for Cassie. There's nothing left for him. But he can't <laughs> gonna ice him and take it 4-3. <laughs> what did you think of the AWC MVP so far? Is someone else worthy of your vote? Let us know in the comments below. With every week of the AWC, we see new builds and strategies, so make sure to hit the subscribe button to never miss a beat, while the teams culminate and clash in the final cup this weekend to qualify for the AWC circuit. Until next time, we'll see you in Azeroth.